In this video, we're going to look at the next of the three main financial statements, the Statement of Financial Position. A Statement of Financial Position is one of the key financial statements. It's often also known as a balance sheet. The best way to think of it is as being like a photo of what the business owns, owes, and what it is owed at a certain point in time. In other words, it shows the business's assets, liabilities, and equity. But let's remind ourselves first of what all these things mean. Assets are things that the business owns. Assets that you can touch are called tangible assets. So a piece of machinery, a laptop or a vehicle are all types of tangible assets. On the other hand, intangible assets don't have a physical form, but can still be very valuable to the business. Examples of intangible assets include patents, trademarks, customer loyalty, and sometimes even logos. Imagine how much the McDonald's Golden Arch logo or the Nike swoosh would be worth if you wanted to buy them. You could probably put a value on them, but you can't touch them. Another way of looking at assets is to break them down into whether they can be quickly turned into cash or not. So a non-current asset are assets that will take longer than a year to turn into cash. Good examples of this are buildings or machinery. Businesses normally hold on to these and they use them to generate cash for much longer than a year. Current assets, on the other hand, can typically be converted into cash within a year. In fact, cash itself, whether this is in a bank account or on a company's premises, in the safe or the tills, for example, is a current asset and it can be used straight away by the business if needed. Inventory or stock is another kind of current asset, but it does need to be sold to convert it into hard cash. If the business needs cash quickly, it might have to reduce the selling price of the stock to get it sold and quickly get some cash in the bank. The other main type of current asset is what we call debtors, and this is money owed to the business by customers who have been given credit, basically being given time to pay their bill. This money will be received when the customer eventually pays up, but it's still an asset to the business. The business owns this debt. To all the teachers out there, show all of these videos without any ads and gain access to our growing library of over 500 teaching worksheets. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? Now, liabilities are the opposite of assets. This is money that the business owes to someone else. So you've got non-current liabilities, which are monies that the business owes, but the debt needs to be repaid after more than a year. So good examples of this are mortgages and other long-term loans. Current liabilities then are money that the business owes which does need to be paid back in less than 12 months. This could include an overdraft, a very short-term loan, or creditors, which is where the business has been given credit, meaning time to pay its bills, but importantly, they need to be paid back over a shorter period of time. The debt, the liability, is current. It needs to be considered now. And then you need to understand equity. And this shows how the business is funded. This is typically money put into the business by the founders or equity issue to shareholders, investors who own a piece of the business. The other important type of equity is retained profits, which are profits from previous years that haven't been spent or paid out in dividends. They are instead kept back, which is exactly what retained means. These retained profits can be used as finance for the business in the future. So now, let's meet our main character for this video. This is Otis Peterson, the founder of a major go-kart supplier called Kart Nation Limited, which is a limited company. Otis founded the business after operating a successful go-kart track in his early 20s, but always found it difficult to source high-spec carts here in the UK. The business buys specialist go-karts from a major manufacturer in the US and sells them to go-kart tracks around the UK, and even to a few enthusiasts wanting go-karts on their own land. The company has done extremely well over the last decade, and now turns over roughly £4 million per year. 
So let's now have a look at the statement of financial position for Cart Nation Limited. Bring this video and over a hundred more to life with fun, interactive games, quizzes, and case studies. Why not try the first 25 completely free by visiting bizwizard.co.uk. Let's work our way down from the top of the statement of financial position, starting with the assets. Cat Nation has different types of non-current assets. Tangible assets, which is IT equipment worth £500,000, and also some intangible assets, which are the value of the trademark and the brand, which is worth £200,000. If another business wanted to buy Cart Nation Limited, this is what it would be worth to them to buy the brand name and the customer loyalty that comes along with it. Let's now look at the business's current assets, which can be turned into cash more quickly. Cart Nation has £500,000 in its main bank account. It has £50,000 held in ready-to-be-sold go-karts, and it's owed £250,000 by customers who have been allowed to pay on credit. The company has allowed these customers to pay for their purchases over six months, which is what we call credit. These customers who owe Cart Nation money are what are known as debtors. So we can see that the total value of the business's non-current assets is £700,000. Its current assets add up to £800,000, and if you add this figure to the non-current assets of £700,000, well, this means that the assets owned by Cart Nation Limited are £1,500,000 in total. So we've looked at assets, what the business owns. Let's now look at liabilities, what it owes. Cart Nation owes its US supplier, who has given the company credit, of 250000 This figure is called creditors, and it needs to be paid within a year. The company also has an overdraft on another bank account of £10,000, which must be paid back. In fact, you'd probably recommend clearing the overdraft by using £10,000 from the money in the main bank account. So the company's total current liabilities, things it owes that need to be considered now, are £260,000. Again, these are debts the company owes that need to be paid within a year. Otis also took out a bank loan to help finance the business when it started out. There's still £440,000 of that loan left to pay, which is a non-current liability. So Cart Nation's total liabilities are therefore £700,000. So to work out the company's net assets, we need to subtract the total liabilities of £700,000 from the total assets of £1,500,000, which gives the business a value of £800,000. And finally, let's look at the bottom part of the statement of financial position for Cart Nation. When Otis set up the business, he funded it partly using a bank loan, which we've already seen, and partly with £200,000 of his own money. Basically, his life savings, which can be seen under owner's funds. The business has done very well and has made £600,000 in profits since it was started, which hasn't been spent or paid out as dividends to the shareholders. So these two amounts added together are called capital employed. And in this scenario, that is £900,000 in total. If you're paying close attention, you might have spotted that the fi this figure is exactly the same as the total net assets figure of £800,000. And that's not a coincidence. The statement of financial position shows how much a business is worth and how it's being financed. And that's why it's traditionally known as the balance sheet, because the balance sheet has to, you know, balance. The net assets of the business should always balance against how those assets were funded in the first place. Each of the video courses over at bizwizard.co.uk also includes an interactive business case study that applies the knowledge learned to a real world scenario. There are over 1,000 multiple choice questions each with detailed feedback, which tests students' understanding of the content. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? So let's take a quick look at why it's so important for Otis to have a statement of financial position for Cart Nation. 
Limited companies need to file a statement of financial position with Companies House each year as an absolute minimum. A business like Cart Nation is small enough to fall into this category. However, depending on their turnover, bigger businesses may also need to file an income and a cash flow statement too. Unlike limited companies such as Cart Nation, sole traders don't typically focus on the statement of financial position. Firstly, because they are not legally required to produce one, but also because they often choose to pay out whatever profits are available to themselves as wages. Otis can also compare the statement of financial position for this year to a previous year's. It's a useful snapshot of the business's financial health, summarising what it owns, what it owes, and how much it is owed for each year. Reviewing the statement of financial position can be useful for current shareholders of the business to help them understand how the business is performing and what retained profits are likely to be available to them as dividends. Otis is currently the only investor in Cart Nation Limited, but as the business grows, he may need to bring in other shareholders. Having easy to read financial statements can be a good way to encourage new potential investors as they can get a feel of how much money the business is making and whether or not it's a worthwhile investment. So there you have it. You should now understand how to read a statement of financial position. For an entrepreneur like Otis, his ability to understand financial statements and to ensure that they are completed accurately will play a role in his ongoing success. So there you have it. You should now understand how to read a statement of financial position. For an entrepreneur like Otis, his ability to understand financial statements and to ensure that they are completed accurately will play a role in his ongoing success. So that's two of our three important financial statements down. The income statement, the statement of financial position, and in our next video we will look at our final financial statement, the cash flow statement. Until then, this has been the Biz Wizard. See you in the next video.